Hey, I'm Mark Edward Lewis, and welcome to Cinema Sound. Today, we're going to be talking about how to create a talkback mic situation, routing wise, in Adobe Audition using the Mark of the Unicorn Discovery app and the 1248 audio interface. Now, you can do this with any Mark of the Unicorn AVP interface, interface using the Discovery app. Now, why do we need to use the Arlo Mark of the Unicorn stuff? Well, it's almost impossible, practically speaking, to create a talkback mic in Adobe Audition as far as I know. So imagine that you're in a situation where you want to do ADR or voiceover, and you've got the talent in one booth and you in a studio on headphones uh, in another. You want to be able to have one headphone feed for you so that you can listen intently to the talent, while the talent has a very separate headphone feed and is able to hear you talk back to her while you're speaking to her without you having to hear it, and certainly not you recording your talk back. For me, as a talk back mic, I love wireless lavaliers because I can mute them at the transmitter during take and turn them back on if I want or leave them on whatever and they go with me wherever I want. But uh, you can use whatever microphone you want for yourself. But in the world of Adobe Audition, here's what we have to deal with. You'll see here, I've got the talent microphone in the studio. You can see it's just a little room noise going on there and we can listen to it by clicking on the monitor input button. And if I clap, you can sort of hear the ring of the room a long way away, which is fine. And when I hit record, this will go into record and record very nicely. But if I want to talk to the talent, I've got a NTG1 here as well that uh, from Rode. I can click on record and there it is, nice and loud. And if I want to hear, hear it, it, I, I can, can do, do this. this. It's super loud. I'll, I'll be, be quiet. quiet. But, but if, if I, I want, want this to... to uh, go, go to, to the, the talent. talent. This is really hard, hard to talk to, to with this to talk with that delay. If I want this to go to the talent, um, uh, I I can't not have it in record. Watch if I turn this off and see how it grays out. I don't get monitor input, so this has to be in record and, and on. on. And, and that when, when I, I hit, hit record, record, there's, there's the, the track, track playing down there. I get, I get her performance, performance, but I also have, have to listen to me and talk back. back. And, and yes, I can hit stop and, and you know erase, erase the tracks and all that. But what a pain, right? Mm. Nobody wants to do that. I want to have this just automatically routed to all the talent and have the talent here. And I also want to be able to give them a separate mix than what I want to hear. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing we want to do is set up Audition to be able to create routing to them that's separate from us on the main master output. All right, we'll get rid of these things here for a moment because we are no longer going to have my microphone route to Audition. We'll go to the mixer for, so it's easier to see. We're going to create a bus, this uh, stereo bus. Let's move it over here. We will call it uh, Talent Headphones. Yes. And uh, let's see, this track, as an example, let's say we want to send that to talent. We're going to go to our sends section here. We're going to go none. There it is, talent headphones, and it automatically sends zero dB to talent headphones. And now we want to route this talent headphones to some other output than the master. We don't want it going to the same place that we're hearing it. It kind of defeats the purpose. So let's send this to the 7 and 8 output of the 1248. Any other output will do as long as you can get discrete physical outputs, uh, headphones in this case. Great. So now it's going to 7 and 8 physical output. The problem is, um, how, how do we get, how do we make this all work? Right now, there is no 7 and 8 headphone output in the 1248, and there isn't a way to say, hey, go out one of the special headphone outs. It just won't do it. You have to go one out one of the outputs in the back. Well, here's where the Discovery app comes in. And if you've installed it correctly, you'll see it up in your file pull-down menu. There is mine and uh, any other AVP Mark of the Unicorn interfaces will show up here. We'll click 1248 and it boots a browser, not some funny program. And you can use this and use this program in, in iPhones or iPads or any mobile device that has a regular browser. And it's pretty cool. In this case, I've connected my 1248 via USB. You can use Thunderbolt as well if you want. Now, this is a matrix, which might be very frightening to you. I have a, uh, a tutorial on how to make this work in a different um, tutorial from the department of the redundancy department. Okay. What we want to do is be able to send seven and eight output from the computer. That's this right here to the second headphones. These are my headphones right here. And you can see here's my talkback mic on mic input four. I want my headphones. They're coming to channel one and two. That's nice. I also want this microphone to go to 
the talent. I don't want to hear it because it's just me. And I want the master output uh, from seven and eight. So if I go like this and I say, oh, okay, I'll just click on four, four, four. Uh oh, did you see what happened? Yes, the microphone's going there, but I no longer have seven and eight. You see, oh, now I don't have a microphone. So this will only allow you to do one <laughs> input, right? So what do we do? Well, we have to use the internal mixer of the 1248, and this is where it gets fun and complicated. Let's go to the mixing tab, and this is a virtual representation of all of the inputs, both virtual and physical, that are coming to the 1248. Uh, so here's mic four. Theoretically, if I unmute and click on zero, the fader will go up, and there's my microphone very happily working. Check one, two, there it is. I'm gonna send, I wanna send all of this, the seven and eight from uh, Adobe Audition and my talkback microphone to an aux send. I don't want to send it to the master. I want more control than that. So I'm going to send here's aux one and two. And I got there by going on controls and clicking on sends. You see how it opens that up to me, which is super nice. I'm going to double click. And now it goes to zero dB. And if I slide over here and bring aux one and two also to zero dB, there it is happily working away. Now here's the thing. I have to do some special gymnastics in the routing window to get the track from Adobe Audition, the output seven and eight into this because there's no physical input seven and eight from Audition in here. Soundflower doesn't, you know, or whatever you're using doesn't do that. So I go back to routing and I'm gonna show you something cool. If I slide all the way down, look at this weirdness. Mix in on the output side. What? I know, it's crazy. But follow me for a second. This is the guitar in, which is the physical quarter inch on the front of the unit. I don't, I'm never going to use it, so I'm going to lose it. Let's take from the computer seven and eight and have it show up at the, com the former guitar input on the mixer. Now what's in seven and eight is going to five and six on this internal mixer. Let's see if it worked. Five and six, look at this, from computer seven and eight. So cool, we wanna send this to aux one and two as well. We wanna pan, because this will be a stereo from Audition. Double click and pan. And unmute and click on zero and zero. And now if I play this track, coming to seven and eight, there it is, seven and eight. And if we scroll over to aux one and two, scrolling, scrolling, there it is, and my microphone is there too. Hooray, yay, patriotic music. And now all we need to do is route aux one and two to headphones two. We go back to routing. We scroll up. Here's headphones one and two, and now we're gonna scroll all the way to the right. And there it is, there's my microphone. You can hear, you can see it showing up here, aux one and two from the mix aux. Three and four. Bang, bang. Now, the second output, which is going to talent, not to me. Notice you don't hear my microphone on my phones, only here. And now, seven and eight, and anything I want to send to seven and eight from uh, Audition will show up on this second headphones deal. And I don't have to hear myself in the talkback mix. And because this microphone isn't going through Audition, I don't have to worry about it showing up here or recording or input monitoring or whatever. Dope. Super dope. And this works on any AVP Mark of the Unicorn audio interface. So I encourage you to go out and get one, like maybe even the Ultralight Mark IV, which we had, did a review of earlier on Cinema Sound. Let us know how this goes for you. It's a little complicated, I grant you, but when you get it right, you can do one more thing save it as a template right here. Click, I already have it saved. Save ADR session, yes, bang. And now I just go and happily pull it up and we're good to go anytime. Same with the routing. Remember that each one of these uh, uh, tabs has its own independent saving. So that didn't save the routing. If I wanna save the routing, I go here and do ADR session setup, save, yes, and I'm good to go. Let's, let us know how it's working for you because uh, it changes everything when you can have that kind of independent control. Until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you